sorry for the lighting, it's a little dark. Um, I have my Holiday Eve package today, and so I wanted to show what I got. Um, I actually got it yesterday, but I wasn't able to do a video yesterday. Um, because I went to go see Jurassic World in theaters! It was awesome. Um, I actually got to go on a date with my husband, and we haven't been on a date in, like, a really long time. In fact, we didn't even get to have a date night for, um, like, our anniversary, which was in April. So I felt like this was kind of like our, our anniversary date night. But it was really fun. So we got to see Jurassic World, which was, like, super awesome. Um, if, uh... I mean, if you haven't seen it yet, go see it, but, I mean, if you're willing to wait and you're just going to buy it on, you know, DVD or whatever, totally do so, because it's a good one. I I always wanted to see it anyway. Like, as soon as I heard they were doing, oh, doing another Jurassic Park, like, I was thoroughly thrilled with the third one that they had made. It wasn't so much with the second one, though. I'm, it sucks because, like, I love Jeff Goldblum and, um... But, I don't know, the the movie just didn't do anything for me, which is hilarious because Andrew, like, loves that one. So that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm like, you're crazy. Um, but yeah, so, like, I was, f I think, five when the first one came out, and I don't remember if I saw it in the theater or not. I, th I probably didn't. I'd like to say I think I did, but I think that's just wishful thinking. I don't think I actually did, because I was five, and I can't imagine my parents actually taking me in that, because they'd probably assume it was, like, super scary. Um, which I guess, you know, to some children, yeah, that would be pretty scary, but I don't know, like, it really just depends on your kid, because my kids watch it, and they think it's awesome. And, like, I'm, I remember seeing it... I had to have been at least six, because it, I remember being really, really young when I did see it. So it, it couldn't have been too much long after it had come out, maybe on, like, VHS or something. Oh, my God, remember VHSs? Those don't exist really anymore. I still have some, though, like, with my favorite movies and stuff. It's just one of those nostalgic things. Anyway, off subject. Um, yeah, so I, I think I was at least six by the time I seen it. And then, like, I loved it. Like, it was, like, my f one of my favorite movies. And I wanted to be, like, an archaeologist. I don't know any kid that didn't want to be an archaeologist after that, though. Or, like, a paleontologist or something. And then, um, and not to mention, I was a huge fan of in all the Indiana Jones movies. So that was kind of, like, resonant with that. Because, you know, he goes into, like ancient places and like he's always in the desert too so I kind of like I don't know I, he's always in like jungly like outdoorsy areas and so like I just always kind of like coincided the two and so like I just I loved it and I loved dinosaurs dinosaurs were really really big when I was uh, a kid and I think that movie probably helped a lot with that and then the second one came out, and I totally saw it, and I loved it. Um, I mean, I thought it was good, but it wasn't, like, my favorite. You know what I mean? Like, the first one's always going to be my favorite. And then the third one came out, and I really liked the third one because I thought it was interesting. Like, I... It had a lot more to do with, like, the relationships with the dinosaurs as opposed to just, like, oh, my God, it's going to eat me. It was more like, this is a creature. Um, you know, it's like how people feel with, like, lions and, like, uh, animals that are, like, predators, you know, it's, like, they're beautiful creatures, um, but, you know, they deserve respect, and, and it's the same thing with the first one, the first one was all about that, like, res you know, you, you can enjoy it, but, you know, you gotta know that it will kill you, <laughs> even the herbivores can kill you, like, it's just stepping on you, so... And then, yeah, so Jurassic World was really, really good. They had a lot of, like, little hats off to, like, the uh, the first one. So, for those of us who grew up on the first one, it's going to be really fun for you, too. Because then you're like, oh, I remember that from the first one. And just, like, little little nods, little hats, too. So, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's really good. I liked it. And it has Chris Pratt. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't love Chris Pratt? I love Chris Pratt. Anyway, so let's get into this. Um, I have a package from Hollis Eve, which I'm, you know, so excited about, and I really wanted to open it yesterday, but I refuse to open unless I'm on camera because I want to make sure I get my, my, you know, actual reaction, not just like, oh, yay, because I can't fake surprise. I'm not very good at that. I also got a cute little uh, keepsake bag from um, my cousin-in-law. 
Um, she doesn't know anything about Lord of the Rings, and when she told me this, it hurt a little bit. Like, I'm not, I'm not like a huge, huge fan. Like, I did not read the books, and I'll probably get, you know, shunned for that. But I, I have dyslexia, and I have a really, really, really hard time reading, um, like, fine print anyway. And I know they have bigger books, but, like, bigger print or whatever, but I, I, it's like, it takes me a while just to get through, um, a chapter or a few pages, and I can't imagine it keeping my interest for that long, and even Andrew has said, like, he's an avid reader, and he's like, I struggled a little bit, he's like, I got bored quite a few times, and I know, like, a lot of people love every single thing about it, all the details, but, like, me personally, I just, I don't think I could do it, like, I wouldn't be able to finish it, I would, barely get through. But I loved the movies. And um, luckily, you know, my husband's read the books and so is my, my friends. So they always tell me like all the things that weren't in the book or in the movies or like something that they changed. So I, I feel like I do know quite a bit, even though I haven't read the books. Not to mention I've seen all the special features of every single thing. Um, I have to say I was a little disappointed with The Hobbits. Um, I did not read The Hobbit either, but I did... Um, I know, I remember seeing, like, the cartoon movie as a kid and stuff like that. So, I already knew, like, a little bit about the Lord of the Rings universe and stuff like that anyway. But, um, I don't know. I just, I don't think The Hobbits has been that great. Um, it, it didn't really need to be nearly as long as it has been. But anyway, um, yeah. So, like, <laughs> she told me she didn't know anything about it. And I was just like... She, like, she hasn't seen movies, movies, she hasn't, nothing. And I was like, really? Really? And so she gave me this little bag that has, like, I think she got it from, like, a book club or something. She's in some type of club where they all, they, like, got little gifts and, like, she got, like, a nothing but Lord of the Rings bag gift of gifts. And she, she gave it to me because she knew, like, I was a fan. And I was like, oh, my God, really? So it comes this cute little pouch, right, which is adorable on its own. And, um... I found out that the blue actually glows in the dark. I haven't tested it out yet, but I, and I believe them. They told me. So it must be true. And it came with three little things. It came with a cuff bracelet that is the ring. The ring. The one ring. Which is awesome. And it came with... I'm going to save the best for last. It came with um, earrings of... The Tree of Gondor? I mean, come on. That's just awesome. I hope you guys can see that well. I just want to make sure it's in view. Ooh. You see a little Tree of Gondor? I have done a rendition of the Tree of Gondor on my, my bedroom door. Because that's how crazy and how much I like it. And I just, like, anything that has to do with, like, nature and trees, I tend to flock towards anyway. And then it came with this necklace. I already have Arwen's star necklace. I don't remember what it's called. It's, like, something star. And she gives it to Aragorn as, like, a, hey, remember me, remember our love kind of thing. And, and when you're feeling sad, you can look at it and think of me. And, like, so my sister got me that for my birthday last year. Um, but then now I had this one, and it's like a little locket. It's a little hobbit door. I want to get a picture and put a picture of Sam in there. If it was like a door to Mind of Moria, then I'd put a little Gimli picture in there. Um, I don't know what to do about my Gimli costume. I was actually going to look online and see if I could find uh, a Gimli uh, costume, because everything that I've come up with so far is just not cutting it for me. Um... So, I was going to see if maybe if it's not too expensive. Because, like, I'd like to go thrift for it. But I just, I ha I'm having a really hard time getting out to go thrifting. And I'm running out of time. But I was, like, super excited about this. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I was like, I can't believe, I can't believe she was giving it to me. I was like, really? You don't want this? She's like, I, like, I was naming all the things. I was like, oh my god, it's a tree of Gondor. And she's like, I don't know what that is. I was like, it's a hoppador. And she's like... I kind of know what that is. And I was like, it's the ring, the one ring. She's like, I don't know what that is. And I'm like, you don't know. Oh, my God. I was just, like, flipping out. 
I was just surprised because she's like a huge Harry Potter fan and like she likes a lot of fandoms, but she didn't know anything about like I know she knows Walking Dead and stuff like that, but she didn't know anything about Lord of the Rings, and that just it just surprised me because like I I don't know anyone who didn't know any at least a little bit or like about the ring about Lord of the Rings or something, you know? Um, but I don't want to make her feel bad because. I was, I was just surprised by that, because I just thought everyone pretty much knew about it by now. Oh, um, I also wanted to show off this cool new bag I got. Look at this thing. It's amazing. I've been wanting one for a while. I got it at Target, and I made my husband a deal. I said, I will do all of your laundry. And I mean, like, all of his laundry. I did all his work clothes. I did all his regular clothes. I cleaned uh, the bedspread. Um everything I could find, anything I think of, and I was like, but you have to buy me this bag. <laughs> I was like, if I'm going to do your, your chores, I have to get paid for it. Um, yeah. It's a really awesome bag. I really wanted it, like, I wanted a bag like that for a while, um, but I really wanted it because we were going to the zoo with our nephew, and I wanted to make sure I had, like, a big bag to put everything in, so I was like, okay, right before we go to the zoo, you have to buy that for me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to open the package for Hollis Eve. Sorry, this video is probably a little longer because I keep talking about things I like. Sorry. I don't mean to do that. I just, I just do. What? 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 <sighs> Sweet boots. Oh, God, you know boots are like my Achilles heel when it, it's like my kryptonite. Oh my God, boots. They fit. They say size 7, which I am a size 7. Oh my God, oh my God that fit. I, can't, I don't want to show you my leg because it's all stupid. But, uh, they got little studs on them too. Oh my God, there's a little grip with leggings. Oh. I can't wait to wear these, like, in the fall. Okay, thing about suede, though, guys, um, if it gets even a little bit wet, it, it almost, like, ruins it. So make sure it's not, like, wet out or it's going to rain or something like that. I've ruined so many boots that way. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Look at the studs. Oh, I love them. <laughs> I'm just like, I want to wear them now, but, like, I don't know, like, if I could wear them where I wouldn't look weird because if they're, like, a... A fallen winter boot, and I'd be. It's like, it's hot. It's hot outside. I want to say it's hot as dicks. It's hot as dicks. Oh, oh! I got a little note. It says, "I'm so glad you're my friend." Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it says, "Love you, girl." We have more coming. What? I think you said that already, but that still surprises me. You don't have to get me anything. Like, I'm just happy to to be here, guys. Um, look at the little birdies. They're so cute. Um, yeah, like, I, I always feel like I don't do very much on their side. Because they're like, hey, you just do whatever you want. Just have fun with it. As long, you know, as long as it's fashion related. And, like, or body confident or, you know, body positivity articles or something like that. So I'm always trying to, like, post, um, like, pictures of, like, fashion or, like, videos from YouTube of, like, people and, like, how they style things and stuff like that or, like, body confidence videos and things like that. But I don't know, like, sometimes I feel like I'm, I don't do much. Like, they post clothes that they're selling and, like, I try to share those clothes or items that they're trying to sell onto, like, my Facebook page and then, like, my Von Gay Head page. But I'm just, I'm just happy to be here, guys. Like, I'm, I'm just cool. What in the world? What is this? Is this a, is this a dress? Oh my fucking god, is this a dress? This is an emerald green, an emerald, like an emerald green dress. Holy shit. This is amazing. I hope it fits. <laughs> I might have to take a picture of it and like, or maybe do like a little lookbook. I've been trying to do a lookbook, but I just like... I keep, I keep messing up on time. This is awesome, though. And it kind of matches the boots. What kind of... I, am I crazy? Like, I can't tell if these buttons are gold or silver. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, just, I can't even... I can't even tell. I thought they were gold at first, but now I'm not so sure. Maybe it's just the lighting in here. But look at this pretty color. Oh, green's my favorite. God, you got me boots and a green dress? <laughs> you guys know me so well. Oh, 
Oh, it's got little pockets. I love pockets. I love pockets in anything. I like it when they have pockets in shirts and pockets in dresses. Those are the best. Those are so pretty. I want to wear it now. <gasps> I'm having friends over tomorrow. I can wear it tomorrow. <laughs> it's so pretty. Thank you. Oh, gosh. I can just... I'm already imagining wearing tights with this in the fall. And, like... Um, and my awesome suede boots, or just leggings, leggings and boots, because that would be warm and comfy. Oh, that'd be amazing. Oh, now I can't wait for fall. <laughs> I can't wear, like, I can't always wear stuff like this when it's warm out, because I sweat all the time. Like, it doesn't matter what season it is. It can be dead of winter, and I'm wearing shorts in the house, because I'm just sweaty. I'm a sweaty person, and I hate it. I hate being sweaty. It's the worst. Oh, there's more! There's more! Oh my god, every time I think I'm done, there's more. What is, what is, what is this? Oh, cute. Look at this top. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> you seriously know me so well. This is so cute. I've actually been wanting more patterns, too, because, like, I, I realize lately, like, I don't have a lot of like loose patterny stuff like a lot of them I don't know like I've been buying really weird things and I don't think I've been thinking them through because I'm like oh yeah this is really cool and then I'm like how do I wear this I don't know how to wear wear anything I always google and I'll like and look up pictures of like how to style um let's say like bright blue skinny jeans or how to style um a crisscross dress or something like that because like sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing and like it, it sounds so great in theory and then you put it on you're like what? I, no this doesn't look great but this is awesome this is so pretty so I got this really beautiful top with the flowers and I got this gorgeous dress that I'm dying to try on which I'll probably will after this video and I got these awesome boots Cool, cool, cool boots. You know, everything actually goes really well. <gasps> I just realized I could wear these boots and leggings and this shirt. Oh, my God. Maybe I'll wear this tomorrow. See, dang it. Now I don't know what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Okay. I love you guys. Oh, you guys know me so well. I swear, like, I mean, not that you guys ever get me anything I don't like, but I, I swear, like, every time I get a new package from you guys, you just it just keeps getting better and better, and I'm just like, I psh. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh my god. And I have these brown uh, leather boots that I got recently that lace up. That would look amazing with this dress and like tights or something. Because like the brown with the green. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited now. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know I talk too much. I'm sorry. I try not to. My videos end up, always end up being like 14 minutes because I just can't shut up. So, anyway, I'm going to try and make this quick. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I can't wait for the next package and I'll totally do a video. And so, um, I hope everybody has a great day.